Hello everyone and welcome to another C Sharp tutorial. In this video we're going to be going over dictionaries. So let's see first off um, what how a list looks. I have a point, um, I promise, so don't worry, hang tight. My list equals new list. All right, we can say string. Okay, so this is the way a list looks, all right? And if we were to add to this list, all right, if we were to add, let's say, since it's a string, we can add something, all right? Now we can take this, oops, spelled something wrong, it's fine. All right, and then we can add a for each loop in there and just say item in my list and then console dot write line and we can say item. All right, so let's go ahead and run this and we'll see how a list is essentially made up. All right, so we have three so -um things <laughs> spelled something wrong. Anyways, um, this is just the value of um, the list. So this is one value, another value, and another value here. Um, but a dictionary actually has a key with its value. So we can define a specific key and value. So it's a key value pair um, with uh, in regards to dictionaries. So um, this way it's actually very helpful because we get to um, actually refer back to the key if we need to um, actually access a value. And it can be very helpful, especially with do, when doing things like parsing JSON or reading other file formats. So let's take a look now at um, the dictionary. So we have list, we can say dictionary and dictionary. All right, now it's yelling at us because we only have a, a value or a key. See, it's looking for a key and a value here for its type. So it needs a type for its key and a type for its value. So we can say int for its key and int, yeah, int for its key, and then we have int for its value. All right, so let's take a look now. It's uh, complaining because it's looking for a comma. All right, so now we have an issue. Well, let's first off rename this. So we can call this dictionary. All right. Okay, so now we have an issue though where we are, let's see, there is no argument given that, that corresponds to the required formal parameter value. So right here, we're essentially saying this is what the key is and it's actually the wrong data type. So what we need to do is um, give it a key. So we can just do one, um, five and nine. Oops. These are kind of garbage keys, but they'll work. All right. So this way we can actually refer to it. So, um, let's actually do this. So let, we're going to print this out. So for every item in my dictionary. All right. And there you go. See, now we have the key and the value here. So let's do something a little different. We're going to go into this for loop and we're going to say if um, item dot key, we can access its key equals five console dot right line item dot value all right and then else console dot right line item dot key all right so now let's take a look we're now referring to the let's go back here okay so we're checking now to see if the items key is five and if it is, then we want to see the specific value of that item. 
Um, if and if it's not, we just want to display the key. So let's take a look again, and there we have it. We have something right here, uh, poorly spelled something, um, because the key is five. And the key is not five here, so it just prints out the key that is there, which is one and nine. All right, well, I hope this helps with understanding dictionaries, um, how to use them, how to implement them, and how to work with them. So if you have any questions about this, let me know uh, in the comments below. And um, until then, I'll see you next time.